Why is blue like this? Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk with Tom. My name is Tom and we all know the drill here. It's time to roast. Oh, it's, it's the end of summer, gotta have that last roast in there. I mean, I'm gonna keep doing roasts after this, but like, you know what I mean. Blue, blue just exists. Blue from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I swear to God, this dude just exists to be a dick to everyone because he has nothing better to do. What is he doing? What is he doing? Nothing. He's bored, so he's just like, why don't I just make everyone's life miserable? Why not? Why don't I just inconvenience everyone? Everyone who cares about me? Why don't I just, you know, make their lives suck? Because I have nothing better to do. Remember in that, remember in the, in the pilot episode, like the long, the long pilot episode where like, we all had sympathy for him. We were like, oh geez, oh geez. Blue's not gonna have a place to live because Max mom wants to get rid of him. And we all felt so bad for him. And then by by the next episode, he's just he's making everything difficult. He's making people's lives hell. You know, poor Frankie. She's under so much stress, and Blue is just inserting himself in her business, getting sidetracked, making everything more difficult. Let this girl do her job, dude. Just let her do her job. No 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 no. I want a massage chair. Let me buy all these pagers and take a couch cushion and leave a couple dollars and some change, because that's how much. That's how much it would cost, right? Do you know how much furniture costs? Do you know how expensive furniture is? It, it costs a lot more than that, homie. What the hell? Frankie has so much, so much on her plate. She just wants to keep everything together. She doesn't want everything to fall apart. Like her job isn't hard enough already. And Mac, poor Mac, he did so much for Blue. And what has he gotten in return? One day, Blue is going to push Mac over the edge. Mac is just going to be standing on top of a bridge, ready to jump. And Wilt is going to be down there like, Mac, don't do it. And Blue's going to be down there like, Mac, do a flip! Fuck you, Blue. You're a piece of shit. How many conflicts in this show are not caused by Blue? How many? The vast majority of the conflicts in Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends are thanks to Blue. And if they aren't thanks to Blue, then they're usually is they're usually made worse by Blue. Because he just had to get involved. Sit the fuck down. We don't need you. We don't need you in this business. And you know he does it on purpose. You know it he does it on purpose because he lives for the chaos. He lives for the chaos and destruction of society, of civilization. He feeds off the misery of others. He acts like a virus to everyone around him. You know, poor Wilt. Wilt, he just wanted to sit down and watch a basketball game. He, he's a basketball player. He was, in, he was created, he was brought into this world for basketball, and he just wants to watch this game. He just wants to watch a game. That's all he asks. But Blue has to be like, Wilt, Wilt, I, I need some chips. I need some chips. Wilt is just too nice, and like every little thing between the TV and the kitchen, it sidetracks him, and he he's going on he's going to lengths, he's going to lengths to make sure that Blue gets these chips. He's in space, he's in space, he's in the middle of nowhere, and this poor amputee red giant basketball player just wants to watch basketball, and then he misses the game. And Blue has the fucking nerve to be like, These ain't salt and vinegar. Wilt, I told, I want salt and vinegar chips. I can't eat these. This is how you're gonna repay him? These people do so much for you, Blue. And you give them nothing in return, but your bullshit. That's all you give them back. Blue had to make Wilt walk a thousand miles, go up to space, when he could just slid into the kitchen and got his goddamn chips himself. You fucking prick. He's like a toxic cloud in the lives of these people. And you know, we all know Eduardo. Eduardo is so innocent. He's so pure. He is a, cin a cinnamon roll, like the internet likes to call him. And Blue just abuses him. And you know whose fault it is? It's Mac's fault. It's all Mac's fault. Ma Mac had to bring him into existence. Mac is the mastermind behind all of this. You know, what if Mac... What if Mac is the one who really wants to see the fall of society? And he just created Blue as a catalyst to do it. And the best part about it is he avoids the blame for it. Blue is just a demon from hell. And Mac is Satan. And nobody knows Mac is Satan. Look at that red shirt. You know he's Satan because he's wearing red. That's how it works. That's how, that's how the equation works. Red equals Satan. Look at his peaceful, humble abode. Mac saw that and he knew he had to destroy it. Recklessly bringing this monster into existence for the world to deal with. Mac's mother never wanted to kick Blue out of the house. Mac lied. Mac lied and he made a deal with them. He made a deal with the fine folks at Foster's. They would make sure that no one could ever adopt Blue so they could never get rid of him. They signed a deal with the devil and they didn't even realize it. 
and now Max Creation can rain terror on the fine folks, the fine imaginary friends and staff at Foster's home for imaginary friends. But why would Mac do this? Why would he be so motivated to do something like that? Because he is a supernatural being. It was only a matter of time before God destruction like Mac came through and sucked all of the happiness out of a place like Foster's home for imaginary friends. Imagine what Foster's was like before Blue. Look at all these fine folks. It must have been so nice. But now, even the Omni King Xeno fears Blue and Mac because he knows that they're too powerful. He fears Blue and Mac's ability to destroy everything that anyone has ever loved. He's become too powerful. But have they become powerful enough to defeat Goku? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Super. Good night, everybody. Thank you for watching Let's Talk with Tom on the Roundtable, but Tom isn't just on the Roundtable. I have my own self-titled personal channel, I have a Twitter, I have an Instagram, I have a Snapchat, I have all that good stuff. In fact, I even have a Tumblr. So, if you're interested in any of that, check that out, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!